Are you like us, tired of having your intelligence insulted by a bunch of YouTubers hawking the latest in equipment from Nomad Air after they ripped off all their customers? Well, then this video is for you. Stick around as we show you what real full timers use for internet to get not only our work done, but have a little bit of fun and entertainment as well. Hello everyone and welcome back to Life Redesigned. My name is Bob, my beautiful wife, Carrie, who's behind the camera. She has been with me for 28 years and we are full timers. We sold everything we owned in 2022 and we bought this beautiful grand design, Imagine 22 MLE. And uh, we do this with no safety nets, no storage units, no friends' houses storing all our stuff. It's just Carrie and I on the road where we work full time, we entertain ourselves full time, and uh, quite frankly, we are heavy users of internet. And that brings me up to uh, today's video. If you're like us, you've been watching the other YouTubers out there hawk the newest wares from Nomad Internet. Now, if you're also like us, you're not living under a rock and you know about what Nomad Internet did to all their customers about four or five months ago. Basically what they did was they shut down all their customers and forced them into the Verizon plan, which meant that every, every customer they had were left out of the dark, no internet, and we were forced to buy expensive upgrades. Now they're promoting heavily against their competitors of Starlink here because they know that they're basically against the ropes. They're promoting every other channel that's out there and they're providing these channels with free internet on the road. The problem that I have with these videos is that they're basically telling you that they're only using Nomad internet and they've pushed all these other things aside. Well, if you're tired of having your intelligence insulted, then this is definitely the video for you because we're gonna be the first to tell you, not only are we not sponsored, but we also do not believe that there is a one size fits all coverage for internet from any provider. In fact, what you're seeing in front of us is what we use every day just to stay connected, not only to you, our subscribers, but to my work. Uh, I work eight hours a day, just like probably everybody else in this country, and I need to be connected to my company servers those entire eight hours. It's impossible for me to have downtime and not be able to have coverage because I've only stuck with one source. So there, in, in a nutshell, what we have here is basically everything we use. We're gonna walk you through what we use starting with the least used up to the heaviest used. And be forewarned, we spend a lot of money to have this coverage, but at the same time, we need to spend this money in order to make the money that we make on the road. To live this lifestyle, we have no internet bill from home, we have no cable bill from home, we have no light bill, we have no costs of heating and cooling. So when you take into consideration everything that you would spend a sticks and bricks type environment, the cost here is minor. All totaled, with our phone plan and all these internet sources, we spend about $6,000 a year, which is a small price to pay if you're in the $80,000 to $100,000 a year annual income. Now, keep in mind, if you're only making 20,000 because you're working part-time, you probably don't want to go through all this expense, and we understand that. This situation and this excess is about redundancy so that we never have downtime. That's what this video is going to focus on, if you really need to be connected in a real-world situation. So we'll start here, Carrie. This here is the iPhone 13 Pro Max from Verizon. This gives us a unlimited data plan, which is typical of cell phone plans. And it also gives us about 50 gigs per month to use as a hotspot. Now between Carrie and I's phone, we, we have them both. So it's 100 gigs per month. And that's, you know, if you're in a highly populated area such as Jacksonville or Miami, Florida, or something like that, these phones will probably get you through and you'll probably do okay. We find the connections not to be consistent and the speeds not to be as great as a dedicated device. Moving into the next is our MiFi Insego from T-Mobile. Now this here is a plan that gives us about 150 gigs worth of data per month. It runs me about $50 per month and anywhere that T-Mobile has been, it's been pretty darn good. Uh, battery life is pretty solid. I can take this anywhere if Carrie and I need to uh, be remote in a state park somewhere. I can take this and uh, we can go do whatever we need to do if we want to do a live stream uh, or something along that lines. This is actually an invaluable tool. This is something we keep primarily in the glove box of our truck. 
Um, and this is something if we need data on the road where our Verizon phone just isn't covering it. Next, I'll move over to Verizon. And this is an Insego Verizon hotspot. And I got to say, the 5G on this is, is fantastic. And this is 5G just like this one. Uh, this is something we just newly acquired because there has been times where there's been work on a T-Mobile cell site and the T-Mobile coverage has just been down. And that's why I never advocate for having one source because I still need to be connected. I can't call my boss and tell him that, hey, I have no uh, internet here uh, because they're working on a cell tower. He doesn't care. He wants me back on the phones. So this is something that's been invaluable to us. Verizon's done a great job. I just connected this to our Xbox and downloaded a 70 gig game. No problems, no hiccups whatsoever. This compiled with our phone plan costs us about an additional $60 per month. And again, it's a safety net to this. Now we're gonna push these three aside because these are nice mobile solutions that you can take anywhere and they'll probably do you pretty well if you're in that range of 150 to say 300 gigs per month, you'll be fine. Now, if you like Carrie and I, and you're probably more towards the 1,000 gig club, because we do everything here, we upload videos, we work full time, and we also like to stream a lot of movies and stuff, then you're probably gonna look at these two plans here. Now, this one here is a little bit controversial in the fact that this is from T-Mobile. This is T-Mobile Home Internet. And I've read the articles, uh, depending on who you talk to, this may be a good solution to take on the road, and this may be not. Um, I have a feeling that as great as this has been on the road, I have a feeling that down the road, this is going to go away because I think too many people are out there bragging about how they use this exclusively on the road and they travel. I've talked to T-Mobile employees and it seems to be pretty much take it with you. But at a certain point, I can see that limitation being reached as they start doing geo tracking and stuff of that nature. This here is truly unlimited uh, for us. It is $50 a month and it is no problems using eight, 900 gigs a month on just this device. Uh, connection everywhere we've been has been really solid, just like the Verizon and T-Mobile, um, smaller device. But I will say the connection here is probably a little more stable and the speeds compared to something like the Insego uh, seem to be a little higher. At this location where we are currently now in the Gulf Coast of Florida, uh, we're looking at speeds here of about 260 megs down. This here has been pulling about 290 to 300 down. So again, not bad. But again, not something I would do full time with. And that brings us to what we use predominantly for everything. Now, I've mentioned before about internet use and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna bore you with the the tech details and everything. But the beautiful thing about Starlink is that Starlink doesn't pay for people to run YouTube channels. They don't provide you with a discount code for promoting their products. They're just basically, you want satellite internet anywhere you go, here you go and here's your solution. And you're gonna pay for that. So we do pay about $129 per month. This is going up to 150 for the new price policy starting in April. Um, but I'll tell you what, I would pay $200 a month for this coverage anytime. Simply set up, if you follow the directions that are in the app as far as coverage for obstructions of trees and stuff like that, you'll never have an issue. But again, for a lot of YouTubers, this isn't such a great option because they're not going to get it for free. And uh, that doesn't work for their plans. So they'll tell you that you can't use this. We've been up and down the East Coast, folks, and we've never had a problem. The only time we've ever had a connection issue was when the cable wasn't plugged in properly. And where we are here now, uh, there's trees right behind our rig. I moved it out to the front. I used the app to look for obstructions in the sky. I never had a problem. Consistently, we're getting about 60 megs down. While that's not as fast as the 290 that we're getting from here, Honestly, you don't need that kind of speed. Unless you're doing high gaming uh, and stuff like that, your, your upload speeds, you could probably get away with 10 megs down and be able to do all your work and everything. Um, and again, as much as I love Starlink, and this is our primary source, this handles all our media. So anytime that Carrie and I wanna watch a movie in 4K, we wanna do anything like that, this is what we use, because we have these split up. Um, and it's never let us down. That's a big plus to have 
especially when you're traveling full time. So now, when you look at all these devices and you go, okay, how can I stay connected all the time? And what? And, and also, you're not including Wi-Fi for your park location. And Carrie and I have a firm belief on that is I have an IT background. And I'll tell you that I don't trust any state park or any RV resorts, Wi-Fi, to get my work done. My work is important to me. They pay for this lifestyle. And this here is the arrangement that I've trusted and I highly recommend. Do you need all five of these? Probably not. In most cases, you probably only need two, but you need to factor in what's gonna work for your lifestyle. We strongly advocate for Starlink because it's just the, the ability to have internet in places that would never have internet. Uh, whether you use T-Mobile or Verizon, that's something that you're gonna to wanna to check your coverage maps and see which one's gonna work out for you. Travel in the country, for the most part, you should be covered by these, these suppliers. There are a portion where you may need AT&T because that might be the only one that works. But again, having a Starlink backup. Now, all this said and done is great. But really, at the end of the day, it's going to come down to what you use as I get out of this picnic table is what you use based on your lifestyle. I highly recommend that wherever you're traveling, if you're full time like Gary and I, wherever you're traveling, to use sources like RV Life, Campendium. Uh, the other one is uh, The Dirt. All of these have reviews by users like you and I who have been there, and they're more than happy to report their findings through various carriers and you'll find that some parks will work better than others and we recommend that you book those parks accordingly so if you have only verizon and starlink and starlink's the only one that's going to get you coverage there you may consider moving to a different park that gives you two in case there is a problem with your starlink unit you have a backup and again this is all about redundancies so i hope some of this made sense to you guys and i hope that as you watch the plethora of YouTube videos and channels that are promoting products to you just because they make a quick $10 or they get free internet, um, you look at the reality. That, you, know, you need to work on the road. You need to have coverage. This is what it takes to stay truly full-time and not have interruptions. Now, to this point, I'm gonna issue an open challenge. Nomad Internet, if this video from our small little channel reaches you, I'll be more than happy to take your free equipment and I'll test it against any of my devices and I'll put this against Starlink and travel exclusively, exclusively on the road for a year using your product. As long as you can guarantee me coverage everywhere I go, like all these other big channels are promoting. If you can't do that, then you might wanna let your channels know that they're promoting false promises and that's something no matter if you have a link in the video description above, promoting your Nomad Internet is not going to work for anybody if they can't get connected. Until next time, I am Bob, and this has been Life Redesigned. If you like this kind of content, the truth, the honest opinion, the honest evaluations, unsponsored reviews, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment below, and we'll be more than happy to provide you with new stuff. Oh, and by the way, Nomad Internet, if you like having and promoting little products like this and you want to have a battery backup so that you can have seven days and put it in a backpack, Gary, follow me. I got something that'll help you out. If you want to fall for gimmicks in this box, I have a 1,000 watt battery backup. I'll gladly pair this with any of these devices and I'll give you a wheelbarrow and you can take both of those and you can have truly unlimited internet anywhere you go for about a good three months because really, uh, you know, that's what it's all about, right? A battery backup. That'll solve your problems. Oh, and by the way, how good is a battery backup when you have two hours of uh, laptop life? Probably not so good, huh? Until next time, a new video every Sunday morning.